All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. Still working on our country road, getting things laid down, trying to develop a little bit. And I'm going to jump back and forth in this area. We're going to get some trees up in here. Right now, we kind of got them formed in roughly, and then we're going to try to make them, we'll just keep developing this picture. See what we can do. Because this is an old row of trees. It probably was an old barbed wire fence at one time laid down here, and farmers couldn't mow next to the fence, and little trees grew up. And that's why you always had a row of trees straight down through there. So we want to try to develop that a little bit. I'm going to grab some uh, burr number instead of raw umber, which is darker. If we've been using raw umber, this, this will give us a little bit darker. Again, my ultramarine blue, mix those together. And that gives me the dark that I quite getting a while ago just using raw umber. I put some burr number on this palette. And just a touch of crimson. And that just gives me a good colorful dark paint. And with this, we're going to work on getting these. See, we got that strong light coming through here. Well, where you got strong light, you got to have that dark. That's that tree heading off up in there. See, again, there's there's that tree right back in there. See, you want, and then we just we just have to do that sometimes to get what we need it to be. These trees are kind of all crumped up together, but they've grown together for over the years, all fighting for that same sunlight. Intertwine their branches. Just kind of enroll that brush on there a little bit. I want that dark right back in there. Just where these limbs are headed. Yeah, it needed that. Give it a little bit more of that good dark paint. We got a limb heading off back up into here. See, that's, that's not these forward trees, that's that tree that's way back there in the background where its limbs all went and grew. Kind of how, you know, what its shape was, where it was coming from. When we got that, I'm going to grab a little bit again of our, you know, our yellow ochre, pull down here a little bit of that dark, pull into that. Catch, because we know I want to keep that dark there, but on this side of that tree, where that sunlight's hitting a little bit over there, see. That kind of looks like it's kind of wrapped around that tree a little bit. Helps establish that little edge over there. Up into here where the branches are going. So we ain't done the leaves yet. We're just drawing where we want these limbs to go and maybe where our lights are going to hit. These little branches, that kind of stuff in there. We grab a little bit brighter even. And I'm just grabbing the yellow, cadmium yellow. So I want that good sunlight color on that side of that tree. There we go. Head back into there and over to here. This is how, I mean, this is, it's the way I taught myself how to paint. It's just, you have to, have to talk to myself and tell myself what I'm trying to achieve, where I want this, what I'm, where I'm going with this. Uh, and you know, why we're doing what we're doing. This old tree, remember this was an old fence rope one time or another. It probably had no place where they kind of banded around that tree. It's grown over. That's where an old barbed wire fence had gnarled into that tree. And that's what they did on those old fence rows. Those trees would have had things like that. And it grabs a little bit of dark, catch the dark side of that. That's why I'm dry a little bit before I get that kind of detail in there. These trees will have those bands that are kind of grown into that tree to where those where those were. And then the grass down here, let's carry this root on out here. We're just heading on out there towards the ground, see. Where the sun's hitting on a little bit out here. We're just coming out behind that tree. I'll clean my brush. I keep a sponge laying down here side of my water, I just stick my brush into the wire and just kind of roll it on that sponge and clean it a little bit. I know he probably just tried to follow me on that, but that's you don't have to do that. But yeah, let's get the shape of this. I'm pulling some more dark into there, see. Help develop that root. And we'll push some uh, grass and stuff over that. We're trying, again, we're just trying to figure out where that tree is. And we got about all we can do on that one right now. So we're going to move forward to this next tree right in here. This is kind of a stand of trees. Again, more ultramarine blue, more of my burn number, and that's just going to give me a good dark. 
very good dart. Let's catch this tree that's growing right up through here. And see, this limb's growing over in front of that other one, see? They've got twirling that brush and twisting it, and you're going to get different thicknesses and shapes. And Put that tree right into there and hit it on the back up into here. So we got this tree growing up in here. Shadow coming out there. Get some of that good dark there at the base of this tree. That root coming out there. So to have this light that's going to be cast in between these trees, just we got to have some good darks in there. And I want some of that shadow in that grass where it's going to be. So this dark, good dark on the on the road where the shadows are casting across the road on those trees. That gives me stuff to paint into. These limbs coming out here. So I didn't put the leaves on here yet. We ain't got into any of that yet. Just trying to develop where our pattern for our trees. There's probably something back here in the woods, it's a stick going up in there on a small tree back in there. Then we got this tree right up in here in the, kind of in the foreground. And so we can see this is what we did the other night. That light's really hitting on that limb right there. We're gonna save that. Head that off into there. Just roll that brush to get that effect of it. See by having that other colors over there where it's the lights will be kind of wrapping around it. Pull this one up in here, the shadow side of that. Carry off some branches and push those limbs up. Wind that off and kind of roll it like a tree limb. Just roll that stroke so those limbs wrap around that tree. We really want to jump up into this upper area and so some dark spaces up in here. Just put some strokes in here because we're going to paint over all this, but we can't put light leaves or anything up there without having these good dark strokes. I've right, got that good dark stroke we're going to catch on this forward tree where it's kind of been munched on that old barbed wire fence that was kind of ground into its bark. And you see these old trees and they'd be full of little holes, woodpecker holes where they on that tree. Get that kind of stuff on that tree. I'm not afraid to put all that into there. I'm going to grab some more of this with yellow. I want to get, get my sunshine color. This where it's about to be some light hitting over here and we'll, we'll work on this in a little bit. Get some more light in here on these trees and develop that. And we'll keep playing, moving back and forth and seeing what we can do. Y'all count.